going to start using a Google Ads tool called NordicLick. It's a paid search mockup. It's actually a marketing agency, but they have a tool for a paid search mockup. So what you do is you go to resources and then you hit paid search tool. Then you scroll down here mm -hmm. and you get the choice to choose between Google ads or Microsoft ads. Mm -hmm. It will change the layout of the, the ad that you're trying to mock up. But for now, I'm just going to use Google ads. Okay. I'm going to use a pre-filled mockup so that this could be a little bit faster. So for the search term, by then you should already have your keywords um, up to date on your document and you can use one of the search terms you have. So the search term I have is residential HVAC repair. And the URL is the page, the landing page that your audience is going to be directed to. Headlines are these right here. Um, they should be short and punch like a punchline so that your audience is able to be interested or it could be the one that your audience is looking for the keyword that your audience is looking for i also included the brand name at the end mm -hmm. the path is uh should give an idea of what your audience is looking is going to be put to so over here i put residential hvsc since it's matching the keyword right there um, but yeah, it'll give your audience an idea and that way they'll know they're not going to a sketchy site. <laughs> I would also like to notice that, um, over here, you cannot put any exclamation points. Uh, Google won't allow you, allow you to do that. And you also can get past 30 characters. If you go past 30 characters on here, it's just not going to go on the ad. Okay. So those numbers in green, like 19, 3, and 10, that's the number of characters that are left? Yeah. Remain? Okay. And a character can even be a space bar it's included. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not included. Oh, okay. Um, can, so you said no exclamation mark. Can you put, like, other punctuation? Yeah, you could put, a, like, a symbol right here. Um, I, there's going to be a list of symbols and you can just find it on Google and okay. just follow that yeah okay and you know, for the oh go ahead no I was just gonna say is there a, a site or something where you can get the list of symbols that you can use or maybe we can mention it later okay yeah yeah <laughs> symbols you cannot use on Google headlines oh okay And it should show you right here is trademarks, brand names, or product names. They use non-standard punctuation symbols mm. on Google support. Oh, OK. And it gives you all the list of details that you cannot use. <laughs> OK. Is there something similar for, what is it, Microsoft ads? Um, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Oh, I should have <laughs> just Googled it. Can you use punctuation on grammar and spelling must be correct? One exclamation point or question mark is allowed per sentence in an ad text. Okay. So you can use exclamation marks in Microsoft ads. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, just in case you want to use a Microsoft ad. Okay. okay, so we got these down. Now, if you want to use a description, well, you kind of have to, because if you just Googled this keyword and saw only these four symbols, 
-hmm. I don't think anybody would probably click on that. They don't have enough information up here to see what it is. So what you could use is uh, what the site offers. Like this site offers um, people who specialize in AC and installation. Mm -hmm. um, really good technicians and whether you're residential or commercial um, needs, you're in good hands. You know, something that can make the customer feel comfortable or trust the, the site. Right. Okay. And you include the keywords in there as well? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Now, site link extensions, you can put the hours, the offers that you're doing, and uh, a little discount. Like right here, uh, I put a 20% off military discount. Mm -hmm. And you can also describe them. Like some people aren't going to understand this, then you can just yeah. describe it a little bit more on each part. And uh, you can have up to two. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll close this up. You can also have call out extensions, visit us on Yelp, free on checkups, top reviewed HVAC company. And I forgot to mention that it'll show up like this. Okay, nice. Yeah. And you can click on them. Oh. Can you click on them? Like in the ad, are they clickable? Call out extensions. Um, no way. Or, I don't think so. Okay. I'll have to check on that though. <laughs> okay. And uh, but these uh, side link extensions are clickable, and they also make the ad bigger, so it'll look better on the S A S E R P when people search for it. You can also add affiliate locations, like say there was a few of these stores near you, you can add the locations right there, or three locations near Grapevine, anywhere near that city location. You can also get them to download an app if you'd like. A promotion extension, and you can urge them to hurry by putting the date of the sale. A price extension. Now, like, let's say this store was Foot Locker. They sell shoes. Mm -hmm. And the brand names are Nike. Mm -hmm. um, what's it called? Um, American Eagle. <laughs> I'm just guessing. And uh, like Adidas or something. Yeah, Adidas. Okay. And let's let's say they're like ten dollars off a pair of shirts or shoes. Mm -hmm. And you could put that on each section. Okay. Some uh, companies prefer that you call them to get a lead. Mm -hmm. And once they click this, they can automatically call the company. Okay. Some companies prefer that you put messages. Like I know there are real, real estate firms that prefer that you text them before they lease the apartment to you. Okay. Um, advertiser rating, you know, all of us like to go on Amazon to find reviews if the project, the product is legit or not. So this, <laughs> this will give uh, more trust to the customer. Oh, nice. So those, sorry, those reviews, they're just, they're Google reviews? Um, I think so. Okay. Because where, where would they get them from? Can you insert them or? I'd have to look at that. <laughs> no, that's fine. So I was just wondering, what if a company doesn't have any reviews? Oh, yeah. Where where would it, I guess I'm just wondering, where does it pull the review from? But 
Yeah, that'd be good to know. Yeah. Okay. Now snippets. Mm -hmm. um, snippets are any of these. If uh, your customer is searching up uh, something and it relates to any of these, mm -hmm. it'll pop up on the side right here. Like for now, I'm just going to put destinations okay. and I could put the destinations near that place, that company, which is, okay. these are the, just the top three uh, cities in uh, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also put models. So say if it was a shoe, you could put the three type of styles mm -hmm. if you want. Um, it's just to give your audience an idea of what they're buying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the location extension, say this is the only store or place you can get the service from, you can mm -hmm. find the location right here. Okay. They can put a lot in the ad, so that could be really long. <laughs> Yeah, the ad can be as long as you want, as long as it doesn't go past the characters. Yeah. Um, and it'll probably help your chances of going to the top of the SERP ranking. Oh, OK. So now the, some, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, the bigger the, your ad, then the higher up on the, on the SERP results page, like it's going to be higher up. Is that what you're saying? If a lot, if enough people click on it, yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, like the have a good experience with the landing page and all of that, but that's a that's a whole another subject. That's okay. Another video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. And right now we are done. This is how it looks on if you were searching from your desktop. Okay. And this is how yeah, and this is how it would look like if you're searching from your phone. Okay, nice. So if you were to click this, it would give you a link of both of these together and you could save it in a document and show it to your client or manager later. Okay. And this is free, by the way. <laughs> you don't have to pay for anything. How long does it last? Like that link's good forever? Um, I think so. <laughs> I okay. think so. Um, and or you could use a snippet tool. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm using a Windows 10, mm -hmm. and um, I just look up the snipping tool. I use rectangular snip, new, no. and I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna drag it to the bottom. Mm -hmm. File, save. And then you can name it whatever you like and save it. Mm -hmm. And you could just paste it into an Excel sheet and show it to a manager if you'd like. But okay. yeah, that's the end of it. <laughs> nice, nice. So do you use this a lot? Um, only when doing a project of, um, only if we're doing a project of uh, ads I want to publish, mm -hmm. but since I can't use a budget, if I can't use a budget, I would use this or WordStream if my manager has that provided for me. Okay. Nice. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>